<laughs> Take that. Hey guys, welcome to Crawl Unchained. So today I once again have a new toy to show off. Here it is. Now, quick disclaimer before we start. Um, this is not very useful. <laughs> it's just fun. I built it for fun. Actually, this, this thing should not even exist. This toy, I, I should not have that toy right now. Um, I started working on this just to test tank tracks because I wanted to build myself a bulldozer that used tank tracks. So I, I just wanted to make like a test vehicle that was never meant to become something that used tank tracks. And uh, once... Once I had like a platform and some engines and a, a driver's seat and the this whole track system set up, I was like, well, you know, I'm all already that far in or that deep into this build, might as well do something with it and see where it takes us. And um, funny story. So I, I, I come up with this, all right? Oh, okay, there's a little bit of lag here. Okay, it just fixed itself. Because, uh, yeah, it, that, that creation isn't supposed to be too laggy. Uh, so anyway, I end up with this. Hang on, I'll just, I'll do this. Hang on, that, that won't take long. There you go. No, you are. you're all good and pretty. So I end up with this thing here. And then I'm like, hmm. This kind of looks like those vehicles they use in the snow. Like, all the way up in Antarctica. Or, um, you know, those places where uh, it's just snow all year long. You know, there's some military base or research facilities in those areas and they use you know big snow vehicles in there out there I've seen I've seen some in movies basically uh, so I wanted to find a name for that thing and it reminded me of those things so I went and looked big snow or large snow vehicles and one of the first things that came up, it's called a Venturi Antarctica. I had never seen that before. And when I saw that, I was like, holy shit. I just, I literally just built something that already exists. <laughs> so I'm going to pull up a picture of the Venturi Antarctica uh, up on screen there. And you'll see the, the resemblance is mind blowing. So, uh. I went ahead and called this thing Venturian Antarctica, just because I didn't want to copy the name 100% copy it, you know. So I called it a Venturian Antarctica. So, yeah, now you know where the name came from. So anyway, I'm just going to drive this thing around a little bit, show show you how it drives. Like, it, it, it drives very nicely. I, I love, you know, the, the, the fluidity of it. Um, the smoothness of it but the thing is I tried climbing up the hills and stuff and I tried get going across the water and uh, it's like it doesn't beat a vehicle that doesn't have tracks sadly uh, if I were to remove the tracks right now and just drive on the wheels it would probably be a smoother drive so yeah it kind of sucks I don't have any means of propulsion in the water, so kind of have to wait until it sinks. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to. The last time I tried to come in the water, uh, the tip of the vehicle was, yeah, that's that's not going to work. 
the the front end of the vehicle was heavier, but I removed some weight just for the sake of uh, cosmetics. I, I I just made it look better. Actually, this is a good thing because this this is gonna allow me to show you. Like if you were to decide to download this thing on the workshop and use it for yourself, this is how you'd fix it if you ever find yourself in a situation like this where you can't get out. So obviously I took the lift to bring it here so now it doesn't have its tracks anymore, right? So we're gonna fix that. So first thing you want to do is just use any block, any kind of block like this, and you just put it on like right here. And actually the block that's holding the suspension. So you just put two right here. Same thing on this side. So on the tracks themselves, I made sure there was one section, the section that attaches there is different from the rest. I made sure of that so that you can always recognize what goes where. So actually I put them in the wrong positions. This one here is obviously going to go on the other side. So you just clamp the uh, the middle here. Well, it's on the lift now. All right, so you just grab it here. You just need to have some clearance under the wheels like that. Then you grab this one here, put it there, and you can lower it a little bit. And remove the blocks that you added, and you can get back in. So, yeah, we're not going to go in the water. I know I can actually climb. Oh, okay. There's a little step here. So this does not use any suspension glitch. It does not use any mods. This is pure vanilla. And does not use any glitches. And it's, uh, it's proper tank steering so I can turn if I'm stationary like this you can see one wheel well one side or one track is going forward the other one is going in reverse or I can do it while moving but instead of one going in reverse it just it pretty much stops oh 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 yeah sometimes when this happens sometimes the the tracks can pop out but it's not a design flaw, it's just the the game sometimes fails to calculate all the physics that are going on and it just, the, the, the track just goes like, it, it, it starts expanding for no reason and pops out. But I showed you how to fix it earlier, so. So you see one track stops, the other one goes double speed. Because now there are two bearings feeding forward on one side. So uh, it goes twice as fast. Also, I tried boosting the speed on the engines. And uh, all, it, all it does is it makes it want to flip. So not a good idea to try and go faster than this. I'm just going to have a drive around the map and I'm going to speed up the footage just so you guys can see it drive for a while, but you know, at a faster speed.
I've made it up before. God, this is so annoying. Ah, that's that's got a lot of weight. to keep it from flipping like that. So obviously I'm not gonna keep those blocks there, but uh, if you wanted to, um, So there's a whole layer of blocks here that you could actually, instead of using metal, oops, not there. there right right just by doing that I actually Im improved the um, the weight in the front uh, I could remove this and then do the same thing here better when it was metal but I'm actually curious now like, is it gonna go up by itself if it goes up by itself now I'm actually gonna keep that modification I'm gonna save it right here because it hasn't been uploaded to the workshop yet I wanted to make the video before uploading it
No, don't flip. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Well, that 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 was driver's fault. That it wasn't the vehicle's fault. Well, actually, a real tank would not have flipped, but still, whatever. I'm actually gonna save it right here and now. I don't like the outside looking like this, though. I'm gonna go back to metal for the outside right here. I know it's gonna remove a little bit of the extra weight that I just added, but I don't like how it looks with this like that. Actually, I think there's a row here that I could yeah, this, this is all metal, so... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. this yeah okay there so I didn't sacrifice any of the weight by changing this back to metal Well, there you go. It's fixed now, or at least it should be fixed. So I'm gonna save it. Come on, you did it before. <laughs> it landed it. Nice. I'm curious if the extra weight is going to fix my problem I had in the water earlier. Sinks a little bit faster than before, but not by much. Oh, 
<laughs> Take that. Alright, one last challenge. I'm gonna try and go here. gonna pop out it's rubbing against the side like that it doesn't like that uh. oh nice <laughs> So there you go guys, what you have here is a fully functional vehicle that uses tank treads but it is not the most efficient way to move around. It is not the fastest vehicle and it is not the most competent all-terrain vehicle either. It's just, it's fun, it's, it's cool. And I guess if you guys download it on the workshop, the best thing you could do is maybe create yourself a racetrack and then race your friends who also have uh, treaded vehicles like these. Anyway, I, I still like it. I'm super proud of it. I love it. But I don't know how useful it would be. Actually, before I go, I'm going to show you uh, the first iteration of it. They look really good. I really like the way they look, but they are extremely laggy compared to the other one. And the reason why they are so laggy is because uh, these use twice the amount of uh, free floating bearings. So on the other one, on the other design, I used only one bearing per link. This one uses two bearings per links. Ah, uh, no! So yeah, here you see how my tank steering works. So I have, hang on. I have a bearing, uh, I think, yeah, it's right here. And that bearing spins this block here to this side or to this side. And this sensor activates the engine that activates the bearings on each side, which controls the, the tank steering. So this sensor detects the white. So it's, it's color activated, so it detects the white, and then when it sees white, it activates the proper engine. The engine takes care of the rest. So that's how my tank steering works. Just in case you were wondering. Here you can see it. You can see it in action. So, All I did for the other vehicle, I, I just removed these tracks and I put the other ones on. I built the other ones on this frame and then I evolved it from this. So this is essentially just the, the first iteration of it. But the engines and the tank steering, everything is the same. It's exactly the same as this. I just kept adding to it to make the other vehicle. 
So that's going to be it for today's video. You guys let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!